What's up YouTube? I haven't done a silver video in a while and I really like it when I do get something in the mail and today I have an, a special unboxing from a fellow Redditor. I haven't been purchasing anything from dealers but I have been doing one-off trades here and there and you know I'm, I'm keeping my options open but for the most part I'm not really moving too much. I'm just kind of waiting because of all the political stuff going on. So for now, I'm just kind of holding still, but I did come across this one piece that I've wanted for a while. I'm not familiar. I'm not sure if many of you are familiar with uh, the movie Looper, with uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, it was a movie from 2012, and basically, uh, it was a character movie where Bruce Willis gets sent back into time to take himself out, and uh, they kind of pay each other with silver bars. And this is a replica of one of those silver bars, or I should say an homage, by P. Stancil from the Reddit Silverbugs community. And I picked this one up from Max13B. It's not my first trade with him, and uh, it's most likely not going to be my last. But if you like the movie John Wick, John Wick 2, and how they use gold coins as a medium of exchange, you're really going to like uh, Looper. So I, might, I hope you can check it out. It's been a little bit slow lately with the silver pours and the silver purchases and gold purchases, but uh, yeah, I've been a little bit distracted with the whole crypto craze that's going on. But it was nice to get that uh, nice feel of uh, that chunkiness that you get with the bar. It's a roughly 9.8 ounce silver bar, and this is a 10 cent Canadian piece. Uh, it looks like a little fish on there. And uh, back to the bar. So the bar itself has a ton of character. It's a serialized number two. It was made custom order uh, for only a handful, less, about two handfuls of people. So I think there's only 10 of them. It's pretty rough, but uh, it adds a lot of character to it. And it's definitely a nice pour. Uh, it kind of symbolizes what's going on right now for me. And sort of my journey through this whole uh, saving bit because when I originally started in PMs or precious metals it was mainly just to make sure that I could save certain uh, save a certain amount because I've always had a problem with spending money and wanting to spend it on something and when I found silver it kind of taught me to slow down my purchases and uh, save up a bit and kind of become more patient in a way that's helped in crypto and in a way it's kind of hurt but I do think that patience pays off in both markets because they're the two are actually very similar and I, I've used a lot of the tips and tricks and coins in the crypto coin market and it's been very profitable so far and this bar is kind of for me one of the reasons why I wanted it I traded a 10 ounces plus two two walker halves for a 9.8 ounce bar and mainly because it's something from the future that's supposed to be given to the past. So if it was something I would tell myself before, it's just to learn how to save better, save more. And what I really learned from stacking is just, you know, not really spending anything or trying to save up for something bigger, like going from one ounce to five ounce, five ounce to 10 ounces, and each going along the way making it easier and easier for myself and becoming more accustomed to spending less these days I don't really have the urge to buy anything which is pretty cool because before I would always want to buy something some electronics some new gear and I do from time to time I actually did pick up a Mac mini for, but that was a reward for all the profit I gained so that'll come up in another video in any case, I guess the, the whole point of this video is just, you know, don't forget the past. Remember what you learn from each thing that you do. And, you know, these are some of my other pours that I've done and some different experiments I've tried to kind of do something for the future where you can look back on the past. And in this phase of my life, it's about cryptocurrency and uh, different pores it's it's kind of cool to explore different areas of where physical meets digital i am looking forward to making some purchases in gold though or, or silver but uh, it really depends on what happens with north korea man that, that that's really going to be the the telltale 
Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.